Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Roshidere episode number 8 reaction. So the previous episode um, we met Ayano, I think that was her name, yeah, Ayano who is a caretaker of Yuki and she is going to be Yuki's uh, partner in, uh, you know, like in the student council elections and uh, we get to see Yuki talking to, not Yuki, sorry, um, Ayano talking to Masachika and a few things like you know we got to know that is his situation you know like his household situation his grandfather is you know very strict and he's like oh you're going to stand against yuki and you know, stuff like that you know and we also got to see that i know like very much respects uh, masachika and uh, yuki as well so you know like yeah like that whole thing um and yeah by the end of it you know like they had a conversation and you know like in the end i know was content that okay masachika genuinely still like you know like has the same amount of love that he had for uh, yuki and uh, you know like all that stuff also we get to see a little bit of masha where we got to know that masha's actually acting this clumsy ditzy airheaded person because she doesn't want others to compare her with alia you know because they're siblings and people do that that's why she's kind of making a front like this and you know stuff like that um so yeah and also in the end there's a whole thing with Taniyama that goes down where Taniyama's like um oh like he she kind of accuses um Alia of like like I don't know like snatching away Yuki from uh, not Yuki sorry uh, uh Masachika uh, from being Yuki's partner I don't know like what exactly like you know like like why she reacted like that at first she was reacting like that but then she kind of changed her tone and she like literally challenged us so i'm not really sure exactly what she wants but it has definitely something to do with probably like i, I think he like really respects yuki or something like that i don't know we'll see um so yeah uh, let us see uh, this is episode number eight i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is a preference and let's begin okay here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. Student Congress. Yep. Here we go. Teacher screenings for student council. Ah. Uh, well, that's smart. Yeah, people will know them. Yeah, that's why, you know, you'll get more popularity. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's a good good opportunity. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, like I was thinking. Like the interaction in the previous episode. Hmm. Yeah, I was saying this, like, you know, like she, uh, I don't know. Like, she thinks like he's a slacker or something, you know, like he doesn't know who, sh uh, what, you know, he's hiding her. Quit working with her though. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Because, you know, she's like, what the hell? Like. Now, and, like, here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's his decision. Like, let him take his own decisions, who he wants to pair up with. <clears throat> Right. Who the hell is this? Wait, is that is it that girl? We saw in no that that girl's a different girl. Huh. But hmm. I see. One of the most popular people. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. All right, here we go. Queen. Wait. The... Okay. Mm. Yeah, his. Damn. Pressure. D don't listen to them. You know, just... Yeah, here we go. <laughs> well, obviously, he's trying to distract her from the... What? <laughs> No, no, she, he's doing that too, you know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ooh. Idolized perfect version of yourself. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's like a debate, basically. Like one person will talk about it on for and against, maybe? I don't know. So let's see. And the vice president. Ooh. Damn. 
Mm, she has her network. Wow. Wow. She's going through. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's. Exactly, she's making this. She's like, oh, what would you think about it? I propose introducing teacher approvals. Interesting. But that's going to. I don't know. I feel like it's a student council. It should be left to the students. Isn't that the whole purpose of a student council? Like, you know, like I can understand her logic, but you know, still, it's going to like, you know, take out a lot of the freedom. All right, here we go. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I I was saying this. It's a student council. It, it it'll just become the teachers. Yeah, I'm also with Alia. This is not a like a proper. Two positions hold higher than Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, then it'll just become like another like you know, like it's it's not Yeah, there you go. Then what's the point of a student council? It can just be a teacher's council or something. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. <coughs> and also, it'll limit like the exactly hmm um hello why are you staring this way oh he she's thinking that she he told her to say all of this damn Okay, now they're gonna go back and forth. Okay, let's go. Yeah. You didn't answer the question that he's... Yeah. Yeah. She's right. Exactly. Like, I feel like this whole topic is so... I'll talk about it later. <laughs> wow. That is true. What? What? Hello? What are you on about? Oh, she did. Bro. <laughs> oh, that's what she was doing. Okay, now this is cheating. Like, 
Like, no, no, man, I cannot accept that. Like, w what is this? Okay, this isn't fair. This is not a fair, like, you know, like, w like there should be rules and regulations, like. Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like if you had made preconceived notions and be like, oh, this person is not good. Then would you have gotten this version of him? Exactly. In this hypothetical. <laughs> yep, there you go. Loser to worthy. Yeah, if the teachers get the, you know, authority, you think that will happen? Wow, he she he hit it right where it is. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's over. <laughs> Damn, she's. Oh no. Okay, that looks so bad in front of the you know like. Uh, she, she shouldn't have run away. He, now the audience will be like. Yeah, like, what else can you do? <laughs> right. Like, people like the students are like, what the hell? What did you come here for? <laughs> ah, that's why she was so. Oh, yeah, that is why she. And that's why she gave up. Hmm, so now she cannot accept the fact that, so now she's like, like, what did I give up for? I see, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, like it's connected to her loss as well. Because she connected that with like, oh, it's fine if it's them. And now this is happening. So she's like, bro, what? Like, why did I give up? What was the point? No, it's that other girl. <laughs> You're right.
<laughs> there we go. Her, her super villain type of. <laughs> All right. She's like, come on, like, just play with. Yeah, exactly. She's like, come on, like. <laughs> She's like, this is what is supposed to have. This is a troll. Like, you shouldn't go against that. Come on, man. Like, really? <laughs> and why is she holding it like this? What the hell? Oh boy. Oh wow. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's back up. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I think I talked about this in one of the previous episodes. I think he did that because myself to hmm yeah like i said it's, it's the guild and now like looking at alia okay here we go hmm This is guilt, yep. Hmm. And also, that is why he thought that there's so many people who are worthy, more than worthy enough to take his position. Yeah, this is, he's doing it on his own. This is different. Uh, well, about that, though. Oh, she's going to say in Russian. <laughs> Okay, hello? Subtitles? Wait, what? Even he didn't realize? Or did he? Oh, he did realize. But, but what? Was that deliberate? They didn't tell us what he said, she said. Oh my god, okay, that's... Yeah. Okay, so correct, but wait, so they deliberately didn't. <laughs> they deliberately didn't um, give the subtitles then, that means. Okay, this ending, this. Okay. Q. 
cherry. Ok. I'm assuming this is ending song of some other anime, but... I don't know. Cherry. Okay. okay there we go that was today's episode um okay wait a minute i i don't understand was that deliberate like they or was it like some kind of a subtitling error you know like usually they tell us what alia is saying but that one but in particular we didn't see they, they only put the subtitles in russian and that is it like so wait a minute let me check something Okay. Yeah, there's no, there's no English subtitle for that. But for a moment, I was thinking like, wait, maybe that was like, like a subtitling error. But then after that, the next, like, you know, like statement that she says, that was subtitled. So was that deliberate? I think so, because even, uh, you know, like uh, the Japanese subtitle wasn't given there. Um, you know when she says that so I think they they probably don't want us to know at least people who don't know Russian They won't be able to understand what she said there um, But you know usually they give the Japanese subtitle as well. It wasn't there as well So it wasn't any like you know English subtitling error. This is how it was I'm assuming but yeah, but like I said like people who know Russian they'll understand what she said so <laughs> That's that's unfair <laughs> <laughs> okay anyways um but yeah the that was today's episode that was a really good episode because you know there's a few things we got to see today first and foremost um we got to see why tanyama was acting like that like i was thinking like like maybe she um like like really admired yuki turns out i was half correct she admired both yuki and um masachika as a pair you know their teamwork the way they complemented each other hmm that thing she kind of admired that is why when she, this happened she reacted like this which makes sense i guess because you know there was a few things going on the first thing was that she was able to give up only when she accepted the fact that oh these two yeah these two are special you know against them in no way can i you know win so because of that she was accept was able to accept her loss and also in a truer truer sense she probably genuinely like admired them and their work so when this happened she was like what then what was that about like you know if she, like masajika just went on and paired up with another person so like now her own like you know like the way she linked her like you know that she, she gave up only because of that she made herself think that oh because they are so good and they're special that's why i you know i can accept my loss that like you know like that whole thing like falls apart now so she's now like what the hell you know like and and that's why she wasn't able to accept it at first and that makes sense that's why at first she went and confronted alia because she thought alia is the one who you know like did that but then when she realized masachika is the one who actually you know like is like running with her then her anger turned to masachika because to her it felt like a betrayal and she was like thinking that why you know like you two were so good and you two complemented e each other so well so why do you turn your back on yuki that kind of thing i guess and uh yeah like i see i can it, it kind of makes sense i guess i can kind of understand it because you know this is like like this is like teamwork like you know like two people working together so in that sense you know like two people working together also means that like you know, there's a lot of like you know trust between them and everything so this person going off to someone else and pairing up with them it's like a huge i guess you could say if you think about it like that it's like a betrayal like obviously that's not what's going on because you know like um like because we know masajika's situation masajika talked to yuki about it she talked to alia he talked to alia about it 
you know, and as he said today, as we, you know, like heard in the end, as he said that I helped her because of guilt, but this is something that I'm myself, I'm wanting, like, and I'm actually wanting to do, you know, so that is the reason why she, he decided to take a different partner, you know, but obviously to an outsider who doesn't know any of the intricate details, like Taniyama, she thought that it was a betrayal, you know, so that is why she was that mad. Like that kind of thing, you know, yeah, so I guess it's something like that. Um, like when two persons that you respect are together and then suddenly one person goes off alone and like gets like, you know, like with another person, you know, it, it, you who loved their teamwork, their connection, you know, their chemistry, you might feel betrayed about it and you'll be like, what the hell? You know, like that kind of thing. I I understand. It's it's some it, it's it's something like that. Something along those lines. Um, <clears throat> I guess in a way you can probably say this is also something that, like you know, I, I'm like bringing up a very different topic, but it is something that I feel a little bit similarity with. I feel like I can like kind of connect it with. It's as if seeing like you know, like a completely hypothetical situation. Seeing it's as if seeing your parents getting divorced. And, you know, like, one of your parents getting together with some random, like, you know, unknown person. You know, the, 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 the feeling that you feel, the frustration or, you know, that kind of thing. Obviously, like, you know, it's like, this, it's a heaven and hell difference. You know, this ain't marriage. You know, but I'm trying to say, like, it's something like that. You know, the, that, that type of a feeling. Like, you know, she looked at these two in that way, you know, as a perfect duo. And then this happened, so she feels betrayed, that kind of thing, you know. So, yeah, basically that's what's going on. And in the end, she gets, obviously, she gets completely, like, destroyed, you know. And then she just runs off, that, that whole thing. And, uh, yeah, so that's the thing. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about in this episode, the whole topic was, a like, what can I say? Like, I feel like the topic that they picked and the side that Tanyama decided to support, which is allowing teachers to screen, you know, like students in the council, you know, and she was talking for it. That, the fact that she took that side is immediately, it's a recipe for like loss because I also think, you know, what Tanyama was talking about, it, every, all that it has is downsides. There's probably a few upsides but majority of what she was talking for has downsides. So in that sense, I feel like it was kind of unfair in that sense, because this wasn't a complete like neutral topic, you know, because just think about it. Like, as they said, like the whole student council, um, you know, like if teachers screen, screen the student council members, that is not a student council anymore. Like then, like then what is the point? The whole like the thing that the student council, student council president, like the, the name in itself tells us that oh it's for the students by the students you know if teacher starts putting their nose in that it defeats the whole damn purpose of it you know so in that sense i feel like this topic that she was talking about and she was talking about uh like how teachers should do this she was talking for it that in itself is such a you know i think like i don't know i feel like it's like something that i like nobody, like a lot of people won't accept. So in that sense, this wasn't like a completely neutral topic. Like, like in a completely neutral topic, you can like, you know, kind of go in either way. But I feel like this topic, at least, I had a huge advantage because she was talking against it, which even I think that is better. Like, I feel like if you ask this question, this, this whole debate to like 100 people, I feel like 75 people will say, like, no, like, teachers shouldn't interfere in the student council. That's why I feel like it was kind of unfair on her part as well, because she was talking about it, like, you know, in the, in the, on the other, on the, no, the, the other part of it, the other side of it, while Alia got, like, the easy, you know, like, not easy, I would say, but, you know, it was easier for her to, like, bring up, like, because the things that Alia brought up were, obviously, it, it was true. Like, as she said, that, you know, like, if you in involve teacher in it, then, you know, like, a lot of things won't work properly. Like, you know, like, for example, um, like, teachers will have to give, 
like what can i say like you know like permission about it and they will like you know get involved in this whole thing like a lot of problems will happen it's it's not like and in the end as um, um master chika said the, the 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 deal breaking like statement that she used the, the, that he used the final nail in the coffin he's like you guys chose the student council president you saw how he was before you know if this was like left to the teachers i can guarantee you this they would never have chosen him you know but you guys chose him because you guys saw what he is doing the the effort that he's putting in and stuff like that so you guys chose him and that's why you can see you know what's going on and here's another thing i feel like is very important in these type of things you know teachers and students obviously they are different teachers have their own little i guess you could say bubble while students have their own little bubble you know you know yeah there's a lot of teachers who are very friendly with the students and stuff but always there's a distinction students stay with students you know and teachers stay with the teachers you know there's a huge divide so which is who are the best people to judge the students the students because they are with the students they're friends with them they hang out with them you know like it's their own little bubble a teacher who is in a separate bubble in no way can they properly judge what each student can do and you know how much capable they are it's impossible so i 100% agree with masachika you know if a teacher was given the opportunity to choose a student council president you know the teacher would probably choose it or through their own discretion and they like, you know, wouldn't even know which person is putting the effort which person is doing that but since it was the students that chose the president they knew what the like you know what he was doing how much effort he's giving into it and how much he's trying hard and that's why they wanted to cheer him up and cheer him on and you know like that whole thing so i 100% agree with masachika it would have never happened that would have never happened now obviously i'm not blaming the teachers because like i said it's not like something to blame the teachers about this is something in no way a teacher can know about because teachers have their own separate bubble you know teachers aren't part of the students students are part of the students so only students can judge their fellow students you know better than the teachers because the students are with them you know like they don't mingle you know teachers don't mingle with students so that kind of thing in that sense you know like that is why you know like that ending statement that masachika was was the deal breaker it it just you know it it just worked and i'm pretty sure after he said that everyone thought everyone was like yeah you're right like you know now that i think about it that never would have happened and the student the teach student council president we have is amazing now so that never would have happened if the teacher got you know like they if the teacher was like screened by teachers and at that point tanya ma realized that it's over in no way can you go against this how can you how can you bounce back from this there's no way to bounce back from this you know and that's why i'm saying this whole debate in itself was heavily like advantageous for alia because what she was talking about was like something that was a lot like you know easier to talk about in that sense i feel like you know like tanya ma got the short end of the stick because what she was talking about was very difficult to properly you know like you know like articulate and properly talk about um and uh, it wasn't this topic wasn't like a neutral topic a topic a good debate topic is a topic which is neutral which can go either way you know that is how you can find how strong someone is in putting their own uh, you know like opinion on on the table and you know like fighting against uh, you know fighting with it and stuff like that um like something that has equal amount of advantages and disadvantages that is something a good a, a good topic to debate about you know this is not that case it has more disadvantages this topic than advantages so tanya ma was talking about the advantages got the short end of the stick because there wasn't enough to talk about while alia and masachika got a plethora of things to talk about and a lot of disadvantage to highlight and show that oh if you do this this is going to happen so you know in that sense yeah this wasn't a good topic to properly debate about but as masachika said this is just a warm up you know this is just a warm up this is not going to be happening in the future probably in the future the debates that they'll probably have against yuki will be way more neutral which will have each like equal amount of advantages and disadvantages you know that is how they will be able to get to know who is better in being a leader and putting their opinions on the table
you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, and there you go. But for the first time, Alia did a great job, even though she had a lot of advantages. She was talking about the more advantageous section of the debate. You know, she, this is the first time she's doing it. Tanyama also, in that sense, if you think about it, had an unfair advantage because she was used to this. She, she has done this before. So in that sense, I guess you can say that it kind of like, you know, like, um, now what's that word? It kind of like, like cuts in, like, you know, it kind of like, you know, like, like balances the whole like thing. Like I was talking about how Tanyama got the short end of the stick. But if you think about it like that, Tanyama had experience before, which Alia doesn't have. So in that sense, I guess you could each clear each other out. And, you know, both of them were equally matched in that sense, I guess. Also, that other girl, the literally, she literally, literally planted, like, you know, people inside of... So, yeah, that's also another advantage that they got, you know. So, I guess in that sense, if you think about it, both of them clears each other out. So, both of them were equally matched about this. So, yeah. Um, right. And in the end, um, you know, that's that. Alia does a great job. She kind of panics in the end. Um, but then Masajika's like, it's fine. Leave it to me. And he just goes, you know, and talks about the whole thing and completely makes, uh, you know, like defeats them. Tanima runs away. In the end, Alia catches up with her and tells her that, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try hard to be worthy enough so that you can accept me. Not only you, but every single student can accept me. Yeah. And that was today's episode. That was a brilliant episode. That was a really good episode. Like I said, you know, the whole debate was interesting. Um, the way Masachika went about it was also interesting. Like, that's the thing, you know, like, I, like, you know, I, I was talking while, the, you know, the d debate was happening. I was also bringing up my points as well, but I never would have thought of a point like that Masachika brought up. And that was actually brilliant. Like, the fact that he was able to come up with that at that point of time. Like, you know, usually, if you think about something, you can come up with a plethora of, like, you know, like, reasonings and stuff. But on the stage, at that point, the way he was able to bring that up out and present it, that was well done. Um, ah, but I guess Pasajika probably like, knew what to do at that point of time and what point to exactly highlight in this situation. You know, like, he's smart. So, you know, yeah. So, there you go. And uh, in that sense, you know, that was, that was brilliantly done. Because I didn't think about it in, in that way as well. Like, what Masajika brought up was a was like, like I said, it was a deal breaker. Like, I was also thinking of a lot of things like, oh, this, that, you know, like, like, if this happens, then, you know, that's why this is not okay. Like, how Alia was bringing up points. I was also thinking of points. But then you have the deal breaker. That one statement that, like, makes the whole, like, debate completely go in your direction. That's what Masajika brought up. He didn't, brought, he didn't bring up, like, statements to debate her. He brought up a deal-breaking statement that completely, like, after that statement, there's nothing else you can say. Nothing else you say will make the people go for your, you know, like, change their mind. That's what Masajika did. Because, like, what, what do you come, like, what, how can you go after that? What Masajika said was, like, a very good thing he said. You know, like, he literally said that you guys are the ones who, who like, elected the current presidents. Are you not happy with him? You know, and now think about this. If you guys didn't select him, he probably wouldn't have been here because, you know, he wasn't like this before. And the teachers, the way he was before, the teachers never would have picked him. You know, but you guys picked him. And now you can see, like, like because you guys picked him, how much, how good he is. You guys never would have experienced this if the teachers did it, you know. So, like, you cannot recover from that. How, wh how can you debate this statement, this statement that Masajika brought up? How can you debate that? There's no other, I, I cannot think of a single way to counter this, this statement. You know, that is how good that statement was. And it completely sealed the deal. It, it was over after that. So, you know, <laughs> that's it. Right. And yeah, there you go. That was today's episode. Now, uh, that was that. Um, and oh, like I said, like at the ending part, I think they deliberately didn't tell, give us the subtitles for that one statement that uh, you know Arya said um and you know like um, i i feel like they didn't want us to know as well what Arya said at that point <laughs> so yeah probably they'll reveal it later um yeah so there you go that was today's episode now let me talk about this episode scene by scene in the very first scene we get to see um 
Masachika and Alia, uh, you know, talk to the student council president about the whole thing. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> and uh, if the student council president says, like, hey, you guys don't have to do this, you know, and there's no advantage in this, but Masachika is like, no, there is an advantage because it will let people know about Alia. And that's just very important. And I kind of agree with Masachika here because, you know, as we knew, know that people don't know what to expect from Alia. So this is like a perfect opportunity. This isn't like the official, you know, like you know, the debates and stuff, it's not happening. <clears throat> it's a perfect opportunity <clears throat> to present herself in front of the students, you know, so something like that. Um, right, so Mahajika's like, that is the big advantage. And also, Alia was like, I didn't like the fact that she, you know, like was saying stuff like that about me and Masajika. So, you know, yeah, in the end, they announced the student debate to everyone. And uh, you can see Masachika here later on is like working like a strategy with Alia. And Alia presents him like, oh, like, look at this. You know, this is what I thought of. How, what do you think? And, you know, see, Masachika was like, you know what? This is good. You know, like you actually did well. So this is something that Masachika br brings up later as well in, in during the debate, I think, where Tanyama was like literally staring, staring, staring daggers at him. He was thinking like, okay, like, I had nothing to do with that. Alia is the one who came up with that. So, you know, don't stare daggers at me. Because, you know, Tanema was probably thinking that she fed him the lines. Uh, sorry, he fed her the lines. And she's just saying all of that. But no, that wasn't true. She's the one who came up with, you know. So it's her talent. Her. She's the one who thought of this. Yeah, anyways. Okay, and okay. So Masajiki here does kind of say that, you know, like before Tanyama reveals it, I think she, he himself kind of says here, where's that part? Um, here we go. I used to be Yuki's partner. Yeah, so he kind of knew about it, I guess. Like, you know, he kind of, not knew about it, but he kind of guessed what Tanyama might have been thinking and why she's doing it. That's why he says, yeah, you know, but I quit working with her. The odds on favorite um, to pair up with someone else. There you go. And that's literally, that was literally what her problem was, as we get to know in the end. I don't blame her for doubting my motives. <clears throat> Anyways, Alia here kind of like you know, starts blaming herself now. She's like, oh, maybe it's because of me. But obviously that's not the case. As we see in the end, Masachika himself says that, no, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm teaming up with you because this is something I want to do. You know, back then what I did was because of guilt. Okay, later after that, on the day of the debate, this girl comes in. She, her name, what is her name? Wait a minute. So she's like, oh, hello, Kuzetchi. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. They, they tell her. Wait a minute. Okay, Miyamai Nonoa, that's her name. Nonoa. Okay. Wait, is this the same girl that we saw in the flashback who was crying? No, obviously not. So, wait a minute, who was that girl then? You know that girl who was cr crying and Tanyama was... Or was it... No, Tanyama wasn't crying in the flashback. with some other girl who was crying. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't think it was her. In, in no way that is her. Um, that was someone else, I think. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to know that person later in the future. Um, okay, so, so this girl's name is Norwa, and she's her running mate. So, apparently she's, she and Tanya are childhood friends. Something like that. And she's very popular. Like extremely popular. She her powerful asset is basically the connections and stuff that he she has. Um, you know, because you know she she's she can see like she's like a social butterfly kind of character. Um, you know, like she I think she's a she's kind of like a like a gyaru, isn't she? I think so. That like the way she was talking and everything. Yeah. So she's very popular. She knows everyone. You know, like she has a lot of connections and stuff. That kind of thing. And that is very important for you know if you want to be a student council president. Having someone like that in your team is very important. Okay, so <clears throat> you can see everyone is here, like, you know, like everyone's sitting down and everyone's like waiting for, you know, like them to start the debate. 
Alia is feeling anxious. She's like looking at everyone and hearing like bits and pieces of you know people talking. A lot of people were like, oh, like you know, like Tanya was gonna be. It is a very going to be a very easy win for Tanya. You know, like uh, we've never even heard uh, you know like Alisa Hassan speak. So I doubt he she'll be able to do anything. Stuff like that they were talking about. You know, uh, which I guess it makes sense because obviously everyone like knows. Like Tanya, you know, like as a candidate, presidential candidate before, and they have seen her in action. But for Alia, Alia, like you know, like doesn't really talk to people and always keeps to herself. So people don't know what to expect from her. So that's why they were like, oh, like you know, she she has it in the bag. Um, and she was getting anxious listening to this. So Masjika comes in and Masjika distracts her by talking about like e cup. <laughs> And she's like, what the hell? And then, you know, like, obviously, it's pretty obvious by the end of it that he's doing that to distract her off everything that's going on. Right. Either way, that's that. That kind of calms her nerves a little bit down. And then the debate begins. So Tanyama comes in and, and the, the topic of the debate is like the whole teacher screening the people from the student council. And Tanyama is talking about um, for it. Which is like, yeah, teachers should do that. And her logic is basically like, oh, like the student council accepts every single person, you know, so there's like the quality of it drops. So teachers should be the one to like, you know, determine who is correct, who is not, and stuff like that, she's saying. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, then Alia comes up and she says her part and she brings up a few topics, for example, Here we go. She says one. The first topic that the thing, the, the debate, the first like counter that she brings up is that the fact that the student council president is so respected by the students is because it's the students who vote for them. If you think like you know, like you think that's going to happen if the teachers do this, nah, it's never going to happen. People might even actually go against them because people might call them like, oh, the teacher chose that person. You know, he or she is a teacher's pet or something like that. That whole thing will come up as well if you think about it. You know, so students won't be able to trust them. It is only because the students trust and uh, you know, like respects the student council president is because they are the ones who selected them. And he, like the student council president is the one who selects the other people. That's why they can trust them. If it was a teacher, then you know, like this, all these things will happen. So that's a very good point, a very valid point she brings up. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be right to hand over even a portion of that, you know, like that respect that the, the students gather, that, you know, the two teachers won't be able to replicate it. Um, okay, and she talks about this academy prize in itself and respect on students' autonomy, stuff like that, that will, you know, all that stuff she brings up. You know, what will happen if the officers have to be approved by the staff? If all of the officers have to be approved by the staff? Um, president and vice president won't be able to recruit students, their trust. There you go. Hmm. They won't be able to refuse any recommendations for teachers, which is true. Like, if the teacher's like, oh, you know what? You know, I think this guy should be, you know, the, be in the student council. What do you think? And the student council president will be like, yeah, sure. Like, I, I agree. Obviously, that is not probably not what he thinks. He probably thinks this guy is trash. <laughs> but he cannot say anything because, you know, the teacher said it. And, you know, like, it kind of sounds a little bit, I guess you could say harsh, but, you know, like, just like how there's good teachers, there are some teachers who are kind of, you know, like, they have that thing, like, that pride, that ego. Like, you know, if you kind of tell them that, oh, this is, I think, like, this person is not good. Their, their pride will get hurt, their ego will get hurt, and they might, you know, yeah, so that's another, like, you know, new, like, completely, like, separate can of worms that you're opening. So, in no way should this be allowed. You know, like, how, like, you know, like, like yeah, so it's, like, a completely separate thing. You know, like, bringing in the teachers into this whole thing is, like, it's a very bad idea. I, I also don't agree with it, you know, and yeah. So Masika, like after looking at this whole uh, debate, he's like, okay, everyone's like half half. They're kind of like you know, like the the whole opinion is kind of separated. So you know, stuff like that. He's thinking. He's like, it's going well. Now after the debate will start, that is where the main 
you know, like thing will, the competition will start. So, um, Tanyama comes up and Tanyama's like, uh, gives a counter argument. She says like, as I mentioned earlier, Swin Council has accepted every single volunteer recently. Um, and that hasn't caused any issues. So what problem do you have against it? Alia says, which is true. Like, you know, she's like, yeah, do you have any problem with that? Everything's going smoothly. And I don't know, I feel like Tanya didn't even answer her question. She just keeps going on with it. She's like, I believe it's vital to introduce teacher screens to prevent downturn in performance. No, Alia literally said that, has that brought any type of problem? She didn't answer that question. Um, anyways, um, and then Alia's like, it should be up to the president and the vice president to make that call. And she also brings up a very good point. She says that if the students need help, they will go to the teacher and ask them. You don't have to designate a teacher to do that from the first, from the get-go. You know, if the student council president genuinely thinks that, oh, you know what, this is a topic that I don't think I'm, I'll be able to make a proper decision. Let me go and ask for advice. They'll do that. You know, here we go. They have the option to accept the shortcomings and ask the teachers for help. That is also a very good point. Um, it's not something the rest of us gets to decide. Yeah. And you can say Tanya was getting like, kind of like, okay, like, yeah, she's not wrong. So. <laughs> and here you can see Masachika's like, you mistook who you were up against. And Masika says that, you know, you thought that you were fighting me, but actually, like, but in truth, obviously it was Ali. You underestimated her so much, you put all your attention on me. And now like Ali is literally pulling the rock from you underneath your feet. And you're getting this, you know, you're, you're getting startled and you don't know what to do. <clears throat> right. Um, so this is where her friend, I can't, what was her name? No, no, or something. She does something in her phone and immediately you can see people from the, like, from the, the audience. They're like, where's the part? Yeah. And they're like, oh, Kujo sons outside. And they, she doesn't know what, like, you know, this is. She's a newbie to this stuff like that. And for a moment, I was thinking, like, are they, what are these people talking about? Like, what? Like, then you, like, like, it makes no freaking sense. This is a student council debate that is happening. You know, who cares if this person is a new person or an old person? Like, like, you know, they, you shouldn't, like, that's not being neutral. Now you're just being biased at this point, you know. So I was thinking, like, what's going on? But then I realized when Asasika says, like, oh, she just planted people. I'm like, oh, that's why they're talks, saying stuff like this suddenly. And... I don't know, is that fair? I don't think that is fair, is it? Like this, are, are we allowed to do stuff like this? Like literally planting people in the, doesn't it completely take out the whole, like, I don't know, like the whole fair and square, like, you know, like that thing, like it's, it's just gonna be like, like people pulling like tricks like this now, like that won't be a proper fight against each other if these type of stuff gets introduced, isn't it? Like, I don't know, I don't know what to feel about this whole, like, you know, like, putting, plan like, you know, this, this whole aspect of the whole debate, this whole thing. Like, yeah, you might say that, oh, like, you know, like, Masajika could have also done something like that. But I think the whole debate should have been very neutral, like, you know, like, like, it should be like, oh, it's a proper debate. No, like, underhanded tricks like that, you know, like, like, a, like a proper boxing match or something like that, like a proper battle it should be. You know, like, just, just imagine if in a boxing match or uh, some kind of a match, if, like, you know, like, people start doing, like, underhanded tricks like that, wouldn't it take out the fun from the whole thing? It wouldn't be a fair competition, would it? Like, you know, in that sense. And this is supposed to be a student council election. Are you even allowed to do this? I don't know. Um, but I, I think that, that part, I, that really, I, I, I was like, what the hell, like, I, is this real? Are we even supposed to do this? So I, I, I cannot really accept that aspect of this whole episode where she literally planted like people in the like, you know, so it takes out the whole fair and square, like, you know, part of the whole thing. Anyways, um, I doubt stuff like this will be allowed in the main, like, you know, like in the main debate. It's probably because it was just, uh, you know, yeah. Anyways, and taking this opportunity, you know, like obviously like this kind of starters Ali and Ali cannot do anything at this point. She's kind of like, you know, yeah. And it's her, her traumas kind of, you know, coming back. So this is the message because like, you know what? They pulled that. So let me now help her out. Because, you know, you can see Masajika didn't help her up until, you know, they did this. 
So now message is like, yeah, now I can like, you know, take action. Because obviously, you know, like, Alia's well, like, you know, is, is very well able to articulate her own sentences, properly speak, and, you know, like, properly counter an argument. But this is, this came completely from the left, like, you know, like, field. Like, nobody, like, you know, accepted something like this to happen. So Masajika's like, obviously, she's startled because of this, so let me help her out. And Masajika, and, yeah, like I said, she, she just, he just, at first, like, I love how she, he kind of, like, like, played that off very smoothly he's like oh like you know my friend here she barely even talks to people you guys know obviously you, you call her the ice princess or whatever so you guys know she barely even talks so this is what happens you don't talk to people when you come in front of the stage and start talking now your throat is like you know like you're you're tired you cannot talk anymore don't worry let me handle it you know like so he, he like played it off like that in a joking manner and everyone was like haha yeah you know that kind of thing so she he smoothed that out and then he brought out like i said the deal breaking statement which is he's like guys what is the point of this debate and everyone's like what 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 he's like come on like you guys chose the student council president this guy here you guys do remember how he was before he became a student council president you think the teachers would have chosen him <laughs> you think the teachers would have chosen him i don't think so you know, and you guys knew what amount of effort he's putting and how he's like, you know, trying. That is why you guys decided to like, you know, like cheer him on and you voted for him. And look at where he has come and how good of a job he has done. This would have never happened if the student teachers were given from like, you know, like full authority on this. So just think about it. And like I said, that's a deal breaking, like, you know, statement. Like you cannot recover from that. That is, that is like, you know, like a, like that's it it's over the debate is over there they won and you cannot recover from this Tanyama cannot say anything which can counter this okay I love this part where is that part um he was only able to become student council president because our system allows for anyone with a drive to become a student council officer there you go um no, where's that part where he... Okay, um, actually let me cut to the chase. He was the kind of dweeb who'd never get the teacher's approval in this hypothetical. Like I said, the teachers wouldn't have picked him. And the, I, I kind of talked about this before as well. Like you cannot really blame the teachers for this as well because like I said, teachers have their own bubble. No, they don't mingle with the students. Teachers stay with the teachers, talk with the teachers, and they, you know, like, you know, like, and while students have their own bubble, so who can judge the students the best? It's the students, because they're literally within that bubble. You cannot expect the teachers to judge students properly because they barely even interact with them except in class, you know. However, students, they hang out with each other, go around, you know, like, yeah, and, like, eat together, play together, you know, like, do, does these type of activities together you know so that's why so you can't really blame the teachers for this as well like teachers have no way to you know kind of like determine who is good who is bad bad but you know, they, you know that's what Masika brought up over here like teachers would have never done this um anyway so that's what happened and there you go and <laughs> then uh, like uh, the student council president is like is it is that it Tanyama will do you have anything to counter Tanyama just runs away you know, obviously she realized that, yeah, like, what the hell. <laughs> and then no, no, uh, that girl, she was like, uh, you know what, my bad, we, we lost, surrender. Yeah, and you can see immediately Alia also goes uh, like, you know, to catch her. Yeah, and this is where we get to know that she idolized Yuki and Masachika as a pair. You know, like I said, I talked about this before as well. She idolized their connection, their strength, their bond, and the job that they did. And that is only how she was able to accept her loss. So now that there's a breakage in that, it's like completely broken. And one half of that, you know, thing that it, it went and like paired up with someone else, she's conflicted now. She's conflicted of the fact that how she idolized their bond and how she idolized these two as a pair. She's conflicted of the fact that 
you know, like, then why did I accept my loss then? You know, like, I only accepted my loss because it was those two. You know, now one of them is basically like, you know, yeah, so that kind of thing. So, I, you know, it, it makes sense. I, you know, I can understand her point of view in this and why she reacted like this. Um, yeah, and she talks about this to Alia. She's like crying and everything. And Alia's like, you know, and she also says like, and I, I myself, like, you know, idolized them and myself, like, you know, got disappointed and my, myself tr tried to take it all out on you. So I'm sorry, I, I was a fool. You know, like, what I did was completely foolishness. Um, yeah, anyways, but Alia in the end, Alia was like, you know what, you are not wrong. But I will try my best to prove you wrong and make sure, um, you know, and, and make you accept me. Like, that's what Alia said, like, you know, she's, she's like, like, it is true, she was, she isn't wrong, like, you know, like, like, Yuki and Masashika's, uh, like, pair and the way they, like, you know, like, handle stuff and everything, for, from what we have heard, was phenomenal, you know, so obviously, looking up to them is something very normal, and, you know, like, when seeing something like this happen, you know, like, Yuki, uh, you know, Taniyama got, you know, like, her emotion, she got, got emotional, um, so, that's why Alia's like, yeah, I agree with it, but I will try my best to make sure that you can accept me as well. You know, so there you go. And she then goes on her way. Yeah, and then her friend comes in. Her friend is like, okay, like when you've calmed down, go and apologize to them, this and that. Yeah, so that's that. And then we get a little bit of Yuki, where Yuki's acting like a last boss villain. And I knew what she was doing immediately, you know, like, and... Ayano's like, oh, but you know, like, I feel like that was a very good debate that they had. And Yuki's like, come on, Ayano, like, you know, what? Like, th this is just a, like a, something that I'm trying to play here, you know? Like, like you, you should, you should f like, follow along with me. You know, why did you have to say that? This is not how villains talk. <laughs> and Ayano then realized what she was doing. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, like, I, I should have realized. <laughs> Oh my god. And Anna brings up a very interesting topic in the end. She's like, but isn't it the last boss in the end who gets defeated? <laughs> who gets, uh, who ultimately lose? <laughs> and Yuki's like, not saying anything. And then Anna's also like, also, you shouldn't have brought drinks in here. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's not allowed. And Yuki's like, okay, let's back up and go. <laughs> right. Yeah, and then in the end, we have that whole conversation with Masanjika and Alia, where Alia directly asks him, this is something that Alia always was bothered about, and Alia always thought, why me? And she asks that question to him, finally. She's like, why me? Like, you know, why do you choose to run with me and not Yuki-san? This is when Masanjika is like, it's actually like, you know, I, what's that part? Yeah. He says that I ran with Yuki because I couldn't bring myself to turn her down. Now, one thing you need to remember, Aya still doesn't know that these two are siblings. So, okay, she thinks that he's like a childhood friend. So, okay. Um, then he says, of course, part of me wanted to support her in her pursuits. Um, but my guilt was probably the biggest factor. There you go. And this is where she, he says, like, you know. I ran with her and worked with her because of guilt. This time, however, I'm working with you because I myself want to do it. That is why it's so different. And that's why I decided to go with you. Because, you know, like doing something through guilt is very like suffocating, as he says. So that is why, you know, I decided to do this. <clears throat> they call me the vice president putting the strings in the shadows. Yeah. But... In his head, he was like, I'm just a miserable person who's doing this because of guilt. And he also probably thought there's so many better people who could have taken this position instead of me doing this for guilt. You know, like, if you have to, you have to remember, it's not that he, like, he undermines his own abilities or anything, or he thinks that, oh, I'm not worthy enough. It's because he, like, he acts like this because he knows that it is guilt that is making him do this. And he knows that's not correct. You know, he thinks that there would be so many better people who could do his job more better if they did it without having this guilt in their back. Other people who would, like, you know, do, be in this position would do it, you know, because they want to do it. 
that is why they they're running in the towns like you know the election and stuff but he's someone who is forced to do it because he's doing it for guilt you know it's kind of like you know like a very talented person who is being forced to do something and then we have this other person who is very hard working but he's not being forced to do it but he genuinely wants to do it and that kind of a situation he thinks even though he's talented you know it doesn't matter at the end of the day because he is doing this forcefully because of guilt he thinks some other person who might not be as talented as, as him but who wants to do it genuinely would be able to do a better job than him which i also kind of agree with you know kind of yeah because you know they will be doing it from the in, from the inside that is why he decided to break off from yuki because every single time he would go run with yuki it would be for the same reason guilt you know that's why he wants to he you know he, when he decided to go along with arya this time he's doing it genuinely with his own you know like because he also wants to help out him help her out that is why he's like this is way better and i i, I prefer this and i think this is the correct way to do it you know and he and he says that i'm doing it because of my own you know like decision i wanted to become your running mate and you can see alia is very happy about this obviously from the inside you know like because this is something that always bothered her but now that she got to know the real reason she is very happy <laughs> and also the fact if you think about it like i said she doesn't know that they're siblings so she always has this whole rivalry against yuki so seeing that she's like mastika saying like oh i'm doing this because i want to go with you she you know in her head she's like oh like oh masajika instead of choosing yuki he chose me you know that kind of thing you know and it's probably heightening her elation because of the fact that she doesn't know that these two are siblings <laughs> she's thinking like oh he's he's speaking me but obviously like like you know like there's no picking going on here <laughs> literally siblings <laughs> <laughs> right um yeah and then in the end and he's like why are you running with me and she says something in russian and like i said they didn't even give the subtitles for this part even the japanese subtitle wasn't there so that means they genuinely didn't put this here they want to keep us in the dark i think you know but like i said people who know russian will have an unfair advantage to this because they can literally understand what she said <laughs> oh my god anyways um she's like okay let's go and then ali brings up the whole like oh what about this e cup you're talking about and she's like oh a friend told me to say this to you or something like that he says <laughs> and alia says in russian wait a minute what does she say um she says correct just barely all right and uh, masika is like what barely what does that mean <laughs> and that's where it ended um fantastic episode i really like the debate and uh, you know there you go and that was today's episode um episode number 8 of roshi the race if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out And yeah, there you go. That is it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Roshi Dare. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.